is working and YouTubing and also living life. Disclaimer, this video is going to focus predominantly on the land saving profession. If you're new here and also want to know more about the quantity saving profession, please feel free to subscribe my channel. There are plenty of videos that dive deep into what it's all about. There's only so many times I can make videos of finding what a QS is and I'm sure my schedule is just for now. Thanks. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Notando and I make videos on construction, lifestyle and travel. If it's your first time here, welcome if you like it here please do not forget to subscribe and like this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for being back here like the last video this one's going to be quick in a hurry because wow guys working and youtubing and also living life that is Moilik. So today we're going to talk about the difference between a quantity surveyor and a land surveyor. These two are often confused because they both have the word survey in them. And I have had instances where, let's say I'm in an Uber, what, what do you do? And I'm like a quantity surveyor. Like, oh, surveyor. So you're walking around there with those machines and like looking and you're balancing. I'm just like, no, that's not the one. But props to you because that is the difference. I feel like if I have to say the definition of what a quantity surveyor is, I'm going to faint. But a quantity surveyor. <laughs> I'm going to summarize it. And the only reason I'm saying it is because maybe this is your first video and you, you want to know. But for my subscribers, they know, right? You guys know, right? Yes, you should know. Quantity Surveyor is the accountant for the construction industry. They're also a journalist because they spy on sites and they spy on the civil engineers. They just make sure that money is not wasted, the project runs smoothly and to a certain standard. They are predominantly the financial, they try to squeeze profit out of construction so that money doesn't seep out, you understand? So they're involved in almost all the aspects of it. From the beginning, the procurement, the, the construction and the closing off, the snagging, and they're just monitoring the costs. And it kind of also diversifies into other things. Sometimes QSs can branch off to be buyers, they can branch off to be estimators, they branch off to be other things, which are all about quantities. Oh my gosh, I feel like I have taught myself something with that definition. Land surveying is the science and practice of recording and setting out the exact measurements of man-made and natural features of the Earth's surface. Land surveyors use special equipment to conduct measurements and evaluations of sites for public, government and private property. The responsibilities of land surveyors include developing land survey reports and performing calculations of measurements and evaluations. Sounds very QSC, but it is not because it's not financial. It's very technical. It's very land driven and they make sure that the building is straight and they make sure that you are building where you are supposed to build and that you're not infringing on other boundaries of the site. That is what a land surveyor does. So, what are the key responsibilities of a land surveyor? It's preparing, maintaining sketches, maps, and reports of legal descriptions of surveys. Verifying data and calculations. Recording results of surveys, writing descriptions of property boundaries, researching legal documents, survey records, and land titles to clarify information about property boundaries. You need a degree in surveying, good numeracy skills and the ability to make mathematical calculations, logical thinking skills, problem solving and analytical skills, a keen eye for detail because it's important. Organizational skills, you need to be organized. A good memory, you can't have a five second memory like some of us. <laughs> you need to know wait, what is, how, why. Land surveying, GPS, mapping, straight buildings, boundaries, locations, quantity surveying, money, contracts, subcontractor management, finances, 
Quantity saving. Money. Yes. I th that summarizes it. This video only needed to be 30 seconds, really. So I know that I didn't go into the details of the duties and responsibilities, what you need to study to be curious. If you are new to this channel and would actually like to know the responsibilities and paths and definitions in detail of the quantities of air, please go to my channel and click QS, the playlist, QSing, and there's, just, there's everything in there. Ayrton, Ayrton, I think it's about 40 videos of me saying the definition of what a QS does in most of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope that you now know what the difference is between a land surveyor and a quantity yeah. surveyor. I appreciate all the subscribers and all the love that I've been getting. See you later in another video and yes, I am seeing the requests. Thank you for the DMs and I will be making some of those videos. And guys, do not feel afraid to go into my DMs. I actually want to introduce a series where I will be diving into an interesting conversation that I have with any of you in the DMs that is usually very universal to everybody else. So that will be a very chilled type of video. It would be a chit chat. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'll probably post a question on there and then we can have a discussion with all your comments and then I'll maybe read out your comments on what the question is. Do you understand? Am I making sense? So let's say, what were your expectations when you started working type of thing? Then I'll read those out and I'll read people's experiences as well. Something like that. I think that's that could work. Let me know if you'd like that in the comments. If not, also let me know that. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you later in another video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share. Guys. <laughs> Kani nkuli sele ngobankata ele nje mpile ni giaza mubambe lele kota I'm fighting nyalwa guys ndombo